Hi guys, Alec Pierce at the ranch. Uh, November, beginning of winter, so we're looking for things to do. And <laughs> this is kind of a fun one. You've seen several of my videos about um, ranch toys. My steam engine, and my spud gun, oh, you got to check out, and the Big Bang Cannon, so like, yeah, anyway, uh, good, good stuff. But you know, we also had, when I was a kid, we also had toys uh, 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 at home that we used indoors. You can't use a spud gun, in, well, you could, but no, don't, don't use a spud gun indoors. Uh, but we had toys that we used indoors, too. And there were family toys, there were toys that, that uh, we got uh, when we were very small. Sometimes just toddlers and up to about 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years of age. And after 12 years of age, of course, your interests change. And, uh, <laughs> and you're not so much interested in toys, uh, so to speak. But anyway, um, I had a beautiful train set. I still have it. And, and, and a chemistry set. I was big on chemistry. I still have that. And all kinds of stuff like that. But for the little kids and, and for the family, there were some toys as well that you may remember. Anybody over 50 years of age will remember these. These were the, were the predecessors to Meccano. Now, I was bi I'm big on mechanics. You already know that from my videos. Meccano was a big deal for me. I had all kinds of sets of Meccano. Yeah, the basic set, you know, with 50 pieces and the big set with 500 pieces. Motors and all chain, all kinds of stuff. I was big on Meccano. I built great big munch. I mean, Meccano was really not. But this particular toy, precedes Meccano. It's the same idea, develops hand-eye coordination and, uh, and, 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 and uh, helps you to be creative, develop your creative abilities, if you have any, and all those kinds of things. And they were, great, and they were inexpensive, even in the day. Well, at the day, in the day, you know, $5 was a lot of money. Uh, but uh, these toys started at $2.95 and went up, and uh, they were great toys, wonderful toys. I, you can imagine, okay, I'm three years old, Three years old, you okay? And it's Christmas or my birthday. And uh, mom and dad bought me Tinker Toy. <laughs> yeah, Tinker Toy. Remember that? Tinker, even the name, the name is pretty neat. Tinker Toy. There it is. A thousand toys in one, right on the box, right on the can. It came in a can, which is pretty neat. A thousand toys in one. So this a thousand toys, what's that all about? Ages two to six. I'm three, this is fantastic, yeah, yeah, yeah. 78 pieces, this is fantastic. Made by Spalding, interesting enough, the baseball people, Tinker Toy. So, oh, wow, wow, Yo, what is this, Mom, Dad, thank you so much. Oh, you get it, and then your dad helps you to get the lid out, you take it off, he says, okay, dump them out, let's see, okay, dump them out, and, and uh, oh, 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 look, oh, look, Mom, Mom, Dad, look, oh, wow, man, oh, and there's more, there's instructions in here, too, and, and oh, that's, the, look, Look, they got sticks, and they got wheels, all kinds of stuff. Ah, oh, this is great. And, and three years old, don't forget, you know, that's like for me, that's about two, month, two months ago. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> according to my wife, anyway. And you get instructions, and of course, at three, my reading isn't very good, so I had to get my big brother or my big sister or my mom or dad. Hi, kids, I'm Tinker Spool. I'd like to tell you about Tinker Toy and what you can do. You see it there, Kevin? Tinker Spool. St Tinker spool, not stool. <laughs> Tinker spool. You see Tinker spool there? Now there's an easy one. A three-year-old can make his first toy using Tinker toy. So Tinker toy, if you didn't know and if you've forgotten, was a series of wooden spools with a hole through the middle and a bunch of holes around the outside. Okay, and a bunch of sticks, different lengths, and they were color coded, right? All different lengths, all color coded. See that? A whole bunch of them. And, and there are different shaped toys as well. There was, there was one little thing here, kind of weird, because in this particular case, the, the rod goes through and spins. Most of these, you stick the rod in, and it stays there like this, you see? But that's an odd, I know what that's for, and there's these little green things, I don't know what those are. So you would go through the book and you, oh, wow, look at, look at the, all the neat, look, look, mom. Look what I can build. And you know, oh wow, I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build the windmill. I love windmills. You've seen my video on windmill. I'm gonna make a windmill. So so here's the windmill. Right there. And and you start out with the bait and you stick and it shows you what to put together and, and you have to make a vein like this. And just like and that's what that one with the loose fitting is for. So you can turn it. It's like a real windmill. Well, I'm telling, I'm going to tell you right now, this, this may seem to you folks uh, like 
like uh, pretty childish. Well, it was. I'm three years old. Work with me on this, okay? It's for three to six. Childish, yeah. Exciting? Well, today, with iPhones and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, video games and all the stuff we have today, today it may seem that this is a, a little childish, a little bit immature, but no, it isn't. I got news for you. iPhones and, uh, and uh, TVs and computers and so on don't develop that eye-hand coordination the way this does. To build one of these, you actually have to find the part, you have to put, put them together, twist them, and they don't always work, and you get frustrated, you call your dad in to help, but finally you figure out how to do it. You have to do that, number one. Secondly, sorry, but uh, iPhones, video games, etc., don't develop creativity. That's what the great game creators did. They developed the game. They use their creativity to develop the game to give to you so you don't have to develop creativity. That's right. So they're creative, but you're not. Anyway, I, I don't want to preach to you, but darn, this was a lot of fun. And this is a genuine, old-fashioned, a country-type toy. I don't know if they make Tinker Toy anymore or not. I'm not too sure. I'm sure they make something like it. A Lego. Lego would be kind of related to this. You get a whole bunch of parts and you put them together and build things. I saw a fellow the other day, by the way, Kevin, he built a, a full-size uh, 2020 Corvette out of Lego. Yeah, wow. Doesn't drive. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so, so that's close to it. But there you go. I thought I'd share that with you. I've had this since I was uh, three, four, five years old, my Tinker Toy set. And... Uh, it doesn't bring tears to my eyes, but it sure brings a smile to my face. And that brings me back a lot of great memories of when I was a kid. And I, I, I guarantee you that this is part of the reason why I have the ability to fix and look at things and say, hey, that's not right. Do it this way or try that and so on. And uh, I really appreciate that. It was a great thing. Think about it. Any older people um, uh, watching, or you're thinking about getting something for Christmas for your grandkids or your birthday and so on, just think about it a little bit. Tinker toy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Alec Pierce at the ranch. I'm going to go and build a windmill. Bye-bye.